Hey, yo, it's pretty much. Yeah. Woo -hoo. We out here hanging with Gallo, the guy you know. Yeah. yeah. Gallo. What's up? It's Nick Gale, okay, the guy you know. I'm here with pretty much, but guys, how are you? <laughs> good, good, good. Being the best we can be. <laughs> yeah, I know. What is it? Third to last tour date. Yes. How has it been? I mean, I know it's the, what, your second headlining of the year? Your third tour of the year? What was that? First, first headline. First headline. Oh, no, you did the promo. Yeah. Well, I consider that it was still y'all. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, out there. But this is the first time. Yeah. This is the first time we've ever put together a full show, like three acts. Like we even do like a little costume change. Like yeah. very cohesive show. Mm -hmm. First time we really went in. You know, we have an opener this time, and you know, this is like for us. It, you're right. It is the second one, but for us, this is a really like huge step forward for us. Yeah. 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 What's one, I guess, positive about this tour that you've learned, and one thing that you didn't know that you're kind of like. Damn, it's a, like a bad experience, I guess, and a good experience. I feel like uh, I didn't realize, and it's kind of hard to tell until you go on tour, but I didn't realize how many fans we actually did have. Because um, you see it all on Instagram and you see it all on social media, but mm -hmm. until you see the new faces that we're not familiar with, it feels like, wow, like this is what we've been working for. Yeah. And to actually see it all unfold on stage is really, really cool. Yeah, yeah you know, your beans, they're... They're crazy. I mean, I was, I know this one girl, she was out here, I think like, I don't know, three something in the morning or four something in the morning. And I seen it outside and it's the coldest day, of first day of Chicago, coldest day. I mean, what's been one of the craziest, I guess, ex fan experiences? Cause I know it's intense. I'm sure it is for all y'all. Um, how, what's been one crazy one? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Yeah, ATL yeah. after the, oh. Uh, after the show in ATL, um, they all, there was like this area in front of in front of beside of our bus and they all like after the show just all clumped up and crowded out there and then we the show was outside mm, and we walked out we walked out and we like like looked over the balcony and they were just going nuts and they're like that's like the biggest like crowd i think we've had like after a show ever but yeah acl went hard and they were just they were going nuts it was i was i loved it i loved it so much the show it's awesome you know, I know this year's been a whirlwind for all of you, like from the tours to, you know, random, uh, you know, promo radio shows to, you know, red carpets, being at the award shows, you know, seeing everyone. What's one favorite moment of each of you that stands out to you this year? I say like um, it's a little things for me, like being able to meet people you um, like admire. So we got to meet um jesse reyes who actually came up to us while we were at the vmas and she was doing her little promo run and we were doing our little promo thing um but it's just cool because i admire her and although we're all kind of in the come up it's nice to be able to now call each other pals and grow with each other so that's one thing for me um one thing for me was um Khalid tour when we opened up with Khalid that was I mean on top of it just being a big deal like it was really cool to because we were friends with Khalid before the tour and then on tour we just got you know we got a lot closer and you know shared our music ideas and just like you know got to bond a little bit so that was that was really cool for me yeah for me I think uh just a lot of our little performances on the side like like even the fact that we got to meet Kenny Ortega and like, do we yeah, work with him? You know, he's like a legend. Work with Michael Jackson, and whatnot. And yeah, that was just a really big moment for me. Yeah. Oh, you took all the good ones. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy that you said that because like, it like we forget all the stuff we do because we're all like just in the moment. So like, yeah, like I feel like we've done so much. We went to Japan this year. Was was this, was that this year? All right, yeah, we went to Japan. Um, we we've been recording a lot. I feel like I'm excited because we've been recording a lot of new music. I'm excited for the fans to hear a bunch of new um, new shit because we we've been doing like we've been adding like a couple songs here and there, but like we've all been we have a studio at the house. We've been writing and recording a lot there, 
and we we've, we've just been in sessions with a lot of dope new stuff so i can't like wait to show them all the new music i'd say for me uh something kind of funny that actually recently happened on this tour uh the guys made me believe for like a hot minute that I was like being followed by ghosts. Like they actually pranked the hell out of me. It was, it was real funny. They, they took like in succession, probably like six photos. I was like talking about ghosts at the time too. And then they just like edit them real quick without me knowing. And then they played it off so well. And there's just a bunch of other things that happened too that were just like dumb luck for them. But like it just happened to fit with what was happening. Like the lights went off whenever I'd walk into a room or something. Like it was just crazy. And uh, yeah, it was it was just really funny to know that I could get still get pranked like that nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> dope, dope. And you know, one thing I could say, I really like what you are all doing. This year, you've been consistent with music. You know, a single every every month or every couple months. You know, the EP dropped in April. You know, um, what do you want next year to hold for you? Like, what what's one thing that you want to accomplish next year that you haven't yet this year? <laughs> I know, I know one thing that all the beans and all all of us sitting right here we want to accomplish is uh, an album. Where is the damn album? <laughs> For sure. Well, I will say album. I mean, it's dope to have an album, but I think it's good that you aren't rushing it. Because I feel some people rush an you know an album out, and then it's kind of like, okay, where's the second one? It's like, well, hey, we just put out first. You know, so I'm happy you are taking your time. Like EP is the way to go today. It's not. Like today, now 10 years ago, it was different. Everyone had an album, but, you know, EPs are like a big thing. But, you know, th to wrap up, I guess, what um, what's one thing you've learned from this industry now and living in L.A.? Because I'm, I'm about to move there next year. So what's some advice you would say? Yeah, I, like what is one thing you would say, you know? I'd say if you got a dream, follow it and don't let anyone tell you you can't follow it. But also make sure you have really, 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 really good people around you. Because, um, you know, a lot of people, you forget that there are people that have motives and people, you know, are trying to make it as well um, alongside of you. But in L.A. particularly, there are a lot of people who are trying to make it. And it's you, you kind of feel alone because you don't know, you don't have people there to, you know, pick you up when you need to be picked up. So as long as you have people um, who are surrounding you, who love you, then and you have a dream to follow, then you should make it. Well, one last thing. Do you all love LA? I mean, what do you? I like LA for the weather. I, I like it. It's definitely it's my good. spot. There's a lot of cloud demons. I promise you. <laughs> I know. I've been out there. No, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I was going to add on to, to what I was saying. I was going to say, like, it's, it's good to have people around you, but make sure they're around you for the right reasons. You know what I mean? Like, there, there'll be people around you that make it seem like they're trying to help you, but they're really there just for something else, you know? So, for sure. LA, I feel like L.A. is literally a different world because, like, you can go anywhere else in the world, and it's not like L.A. Like, it's just everyone everyone if you're in LA like it's it's for like um, like music industry or like movies or it's usually like entertainment so yeah everyone's trying to make it and that's what makes it cutthroat so a lot of people will try to piggyback off you for the wrong reasons but you just got to find but there's a lot of dope dope people with very talented people that are also trying to work with you for the right reasons so it's just you got to pick and choose and find the right people you know you know you got to look for the snakes in the grass Man, I've been, every time I've been in L.A., it's been, like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I'll stay in my boys' house. Right. I'm good. But, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but, guys, I just want to wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Everything from, you know, the ending of the tour, I mean, to the holiday. I know you just celebrated a birthday. Happy birthday. And, yeah, Brandon, your birthday's coming in December. Yeah, happy birthday. And, yeah, so just want to wish you all the best of luck. And it's, yeah, Nick Gallo, yeah, the guy you know, here at Pretty Much. <laughs>